Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. I'm starting off today a little bit later than I normally start for some reason. It has been so difficult for me to wake up early. I think it's a combination of, like, you know, my quarantine and then also of, um, like, the gloomy weather. But last night, Dallas actually went on, like, the safe at home thing. So we're on the same thing as LA until April 3rd, not April 19th. But I'm gonna go take Coco on a little bit of a walk. I haven't really like left the house much. Today I'm working at my office and my desk and stuff is getting here tomorrow, which is really unfortunate. I have a good amount of stuff to do. So today is like a productive Monday in quarantine, basically. If you guys are new here, subscribe. All right guys, I just cleaned the kitchen and a little bit of the floors actually, but I'm so excited. I just got this package in from Amazon and I got these really cute new slippers like I said I think I told you guys about them last week actually they're only like $40 which is a really good deal I think they had some for 20 as well I will link them down below but I'm gonna legit live in these like I will wear these every single day and these are gonna be my best things that I've ever bought these will be on my next newsletter I guarantee it also if you guys haven't joined the newsletter you guys should but I'm about to go upstairs I'm gonna film and get ready with me this is the podcast that I was listening to this morning. I listened to a little bit of an Ed Milet one and then I've been listening to a Girl Boss Radio. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go upstairs and film a chit chat, get ready with me. I just posted on my Instagram story for you guys to ask me some questions. I decided I'm gonna make some breakfast. So I'm just making toast with the Earth Balance butter. It actually is so crazy that this is a real butter because it just tastes like the same. I've always been shocked by this stuff, but anyways, yeah, I'm making some toast. It is currently 10.30. I'm gonna go upstairs pretty soon and start filming, but I just wanted to make a little snack. Also, I need to make some coffee. Today, as I'm recording this, it is March 23rd, and last night, Dallas issued stay at home until April 3rd. That is life right now. Um, I decided that I'm gonna get ready today for the first day, really since being quarantined, which this has been nine days, 10, I don't even remember when I started this thing. Also, I just wanted to mention, if you guys are not staying at home, you need to be staying at home. Like, it's really, 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 really unbelievably selfish. Go stay at home. Okay, so I decided that we were gonna do a little chit chat get ready for me today. I thought I was gonna do my hair, but honestly, I actually like it how it is right now, and I didn't even do anything to it. So we're just gonna leave it because it's pretty, like, okay. Anyways, I asked you guys on Instagram what I should talk about or questions you guys wanted me to answer you guys know the drill all right so i'm going to put my hair back a little bit i have this little anthropology set of scrunchies they're really small but they're really convenient in times like this i feel like i mentioned this in a vlog recently but ever since i stopped using the way hair oil in my hair has just been trash how are you guys doing okay. i'm going to use this charlotte tilbury wonder glow it's an instant soft focus beauty flash it has basically no coverage but it turns your skin very glowy for some reason guys my skin has not broken out in forever and i ha now have two breakouts the week that i don't even leave my house i just like don't know what's going on see it almost looks like it's a primer do you see what I'm saying? This is gonna be so great for summer, especially when you're tan, you just put this on over your skin. Can someone tell me how you make the best iced coffee from home? Because I tried the other day and it was literally pitiful. 2019. Wow. I'm like now thinking back to 2019. Wild year, guys. I was even talking about this the other day. Um, and if you would have told me what my life is now, even, not even like a year ago, six months ago, like I'm now, quarantined in Texas, who I'm dating, like what my life looks like now that I live in Texas, like I would have never believed you, which is also kind of encouraging, so like who knows what will happen next year. I love this eyebrow gel, but like it has not been doing me, not been doing great for me lately. I literally cannot get over how natural my skin looks. Like, it is crazy. I think I'm actually gonna talk about this this week in my podcast episode, because I'm gonna record a solo one just on like, the world right now, like what I'm doing, ways to like make the best of it, and like how I'm kind of feeling right now. Side note, I also just feel guilty even being like how I feel because there are so many people 
that are like, and like I feel like I say I'm not gonna talk about it again because I talk about it in every single video, but like so many people who are like losing homes are like could go homeless, are losing pretty much everything. Like so much of America lives paycheck to paycheck, so for them to not have the chance of them not having a paycheck for however long and then like you know things not working in their favor whether it's like their landlord holding off rent or whatever it might be like that terrifies me also when I, once we get off this i'll go to positive things but like child abuse and just domestic abuse in general i'm sure like skyrockets now it's so heartbreaking okay anyways back to other things um okay so i'm gonna go back there's been like a few things that I've been thinking about and like one of them, I'm just like really deep in my head. I think before this even happened and like we went on like staying home and quarantine or whatever, I, and we went to like a staying home model, I was already really antisocial. I go through periods of time where I'm really, really extroverted and really social and then periods of time where I'm just not. And the past few months have already been a little bit more antisocial, so I feel like I've kind of been doing this for forever. And I was finally getting to the point in Dallas where I felt like a little bit lonely, because I was like, oh, oh, I'm almost out of this perfume. Dang, this is my favorite perfume. But I actually just got this one from Charlotte Tilbury, so that's good. Um, so I was already getting to the point where I felt a little bit lonely. And I was like excited to come back from my trip and then I would have a few weeks here before going to LA and then I was excited to my friends in LA and I was gonna make friends in Dallas and all that stuff. And I can't really leave, which obviously like that is the least of anyone's problems. But like I'd already been kind of feeling a little bit like, not isolated, but I guess isolated. Does that make sense? And like obviously I know it takes time to find your people. A lot of my friends here, you guys are probably confused, live like 45 minutes north. Or we're at college and I'm sure like a lot of them are home now. I'm going to be home earlier, which is convenient. So I like, I also want to make new friends too. Like that would also be nice, you know? So it just like was a weird thing. So now I'm on this and I was like, whoa, what the heck? And then coupled with that, lately I'm like, I feel like I'm just not doing enough. I feel like, and I don't know if it's, I'm sure part of it is the whole like stay at home thing. But I think also part of it is like, I feel I don't know, I think I am really hard on myself at times and I will have like something like this certain age in my head where I have to have accomplished like X, Y, and Z, which is like not like, I know when I say this stuff out loud that it's like, I know the answer is like, no, that's not right. But it still is like kind of what's in my head almost. And by the way, I use the milk setting powder. I don't know, I'll have everything linked down below and linked on a like to know a thing as well. But um, still love my cheek leader palette. You know what, actually? No, I have new products that we're gonna try out. So for instance, I just feel like I'm not doing enough, I'm not where I wanna be, whatever, blah, 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 even though like I'm so unbelievably grateful for like where I'm at and what I'm doing. It's just this weird thing where I'm so hard on myself. And I guess maybe it is a little bit of a comparison thing, but honestly with me, it's more of like, I'm comparing myself against myself. I don't know if that really makes sense. I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury blush. We'll figure that out. So, I really don't like that I do that, but like I, I don't know, I think part of me is like I don't even know myself, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm so confused, like what if I like end up not doing anything and everything flops or like it never gets to the point where I want it to be at or, you know, I just go through these what ifs in my head all the time and I'm really hard on myself and then I'm like I'm not where I want to be and then I get like really anxious and I'm just like sitting inside with my own thoughts and it's like, I mean, I think part of it is also that I haven't been working out as much, <laughs> which working out really helps me as far as anxiety goes. I'm gonna use a Sculpt and Highlight Palette, by the way. Um, comment down below your best brush for bronzing. That was hard to say. Um, I need a new one, and my sister has this huge one, and I'm like, do I get that one? And like, even the other day, I was thinking, I'm like, I don't even know of people in my own life. Like, I've talked about this too before, but it's like, I don't know why. I have become so closed off to people, like I, and not in like a standoffish way by any means, I'm like almost a little bit, I should be probably more standoffish than I am, but like I think I've just been so in my head and so just like stupid about things and making things a way bigger deal than they need to be. But I was thinking, I'm like, I don't even know if the people who closest to me in my life like know exactly like what I really want to do right now. And then, like, even, like, faith-wise, I was thinking yesterday, and then it, like, came to mind. I'm like, I don't even think I've told God what I really want right now. Like, I'm like, I just feel like I'm so closed off 
and it's translated to like every area of my life and I need to stop but I also feel like I'm like being run over with all my thoughts and just like kind of going crazy does that make sense so um while I know that this is not true and I know that's not correct I'm like I am only 22 years old but also at the same time like, I'm 22 like it's like really this like stupid like this it's so stupid like it's really truly so stupid someone just asked if you ever thought about going on tour so it's a live show for the podcast I really 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 want to do that this year I don't know what that looks like next time I'm in LA I'm going to talk to the team about it lip liner and lipstick this is the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheek reshape and resize lip liner i love lip liner i also love this lip liner this was really moisturizing and hydrating you know how sometimes it cannot be that way um and then i have this lipstick which is gonna be a little bit darker i think that i wanted i doubt that this big like, oh yeah it actually goes on a little bit more nude a little less like a little lighter than i thought it would i actually do really like this now i'm like should i do winged liner i haven't done winged liner in literally who knows how long has anyone ever told you your voice sounds like a Cali girl? Okay, guys, I grew up in Texas. I have no idea where this Valley Girl accent came from. It's just really not ideal. Also, guys, I think my office furniture is coming today, which I'm really excited for. So, guys, okay, also randomly, I found this girl to my roommate. Um, I realized that this girl went to tech, went to probably college with my roommate, is what I'm assuming, in LA. But look, she's the cutest stuff i've ever seen it's on illustrator i'm assuming yeah illustrator and pattern enthusiast computer cowgirl love anything cowgirl so she's like really really freaking cute stuff am i gonna really regret this eyeliner the answer is just yes what was i thinking all right guys so i just finished filming my get ready with me i used a bunch of the new charlotte tilbury um products that they sent me probably a week ago now a little over a week ago and i actually really love them this is really the first time i actually kind of did my makeup not that I did like a ton but you know for me I feel like it's like a good amount I was gonna do my hair today too but I kind of like how it is natural so I might just leave it like this yeah I am gonna leave it like this anyways um supposedly my desk and chair is supposed to arrive today I've also seen it said tomorrow but then it also said today so I guess we're gonna see I really hope those do arrive what time is it right now I'm going to guest on a podcast an hour and a half also guys, okay, so these slippers, I posted them on my story, this is why, oh, during the q and I had like eight DMs, and I thought I was really cool, but it's just because my friends wanted links to these slippers, so anyways, I'm linking them down below, they're really, really comfy, they're really just the best things ever, and I'm gonna live in them every single day, you guys can get, I think they were $40, and then I saw someone else post a $20 one, so I'll also link those in case you guys want those, but yeah, they're really cute, they match my house, which I love, um, like look at this, it's just so cute. Okay, well, one, a girl named, let's see what her name is. Okay, a girl just DM'd me and said, last night I had a dream that I met you, Q, and David Jugger together. What a happy dream. That's very funny. Um, Quentin just went through and made a very structured schedule for his days. This past week was not the most structured. I didn't even do, I don't know. I feel like we've been spending a lot of time together too because obviously quarantine. And so I, I don't know. I was just very out of it last week. And now... All right, and oh, oh, okay, guys. So, sorry for the air fryer in the background. It is now one. My camera died last time I was talking to you. I honestly don't even remember what I was saying, but I just read for about an hour, and now I'm actually planning a solo podcast that I'm going to record, and then I'm going to be a guest on two podcasts virtually, like right after each other today. Um, but I'm just feeling a little bit crazy. Also, I think this. Um, I think when I'm like not in a very structured routine, not even I think, I know I go a little bit crazy and then I get really in my head and I'm like, I'm a failure and I literally do nothing with my life and blah, 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 blah. And it's not even that like when I'm in a routine necessarily, I'm distracting myself. I think it's just, I get really in my head when I'm not doing stuff. Maybe it is a little bit unhealthy, but it's also like, I just get in like a weird head space, mind space when I'm like not leaving or like doing anything all day. So I made a tentative daily schedule because I did make like my morning routine schedule, which I haven't even been like sticking to. The video I just posted, I've just been so off of like everything. So I'm changing up my routine and I'm making a new routine. And I did it right here. Um, I'm all right guys, I just finished recording my first episode of the day. My next one is in a little bit less than an hour. 
but I'm really excited. So I surprised Quentin the other day. He already knows that this is coming, but I was supposed to come tomorrow with a keyboard. Um, there's like a whole meeting behind it. It was very cute of me. But it actually came today and I just saw it downstairs. So he's gonna be very excited and my desk chair arrived So I'm really excited for that. I'm like really out of breath because I just ran up the stairs Also, this just came in. It's a bunch of little toys for Coco. She's really picky. So we'll see if she likes these This one is so freaking cute. I'll make a shop like little list on my Amazon shop page to see if you guys um for like stuff that I get for Coco because I've gotten so much stuff in the past week. So we'll see what she likes. We'll give her the donut first. Do you like this? Probably not. She only likes toys whenever I'm not looking. Oh wait. Oh good. Wow. Alright, so here is my table. Um, I got this on Overstock. I will have it linked down below. But Quinton's going to have to set it up for me. So this will be a fun little thing. I'm really excited. My table is supposed to get here later on today. So at least I'll have that set up, which will be very exciting. All right, I finished recording the podcast. I'm actually not going to record it still today. I'm going to record that tomorrow because I've been editing for the past two and a half hours. And I finally finished the video. It's exporting, so it's not ready by any means. But I'm going to post this video. And I think Q and I are finally going to set up my office. Because, well, at least the desk and the chair. The rest of the stuff hasn't arrived, but the desk and the chair. All right, so that's the table, which will be my desk. It's actually technically a dining table because I just wanted a big conference table. And then this is my chair that we're gonna set up. Best of luck to really, well, I'm gonna try to help. So we'll see, I have my toolkit and everything. We just set up my two pieces of my office furniture. I've been talking about this so much in the vlogs lately. I need to get a rug. I don't know what I want. I want the chair to be here before and make other decisions. All right guys, so like I was saying, sorry my um, camera ran out of storage. This is my desk, it's actually a dining table. Honestly, I think it's, I mean, I don't know. I, it's glossy, I like that. I still feel like overstock, it was like overpriced, but not really because everything is that expensive, so that stinks. But anyways, the only thing I would change is I wish that this was a little bit thicker. I'm just really into thick furniture right now, but yeah, it's perfect. I got a dining table because I more so like a conference table vibe, especially if I have someone come over and then we're working together and I can just move this back a little bit and add a chair. It gives so much more space to work from. I don't have my iMac here. It's in LA, so I won't have anything like that, but like having everything that I have on my table. I don't know. I just like working at a big desk. So I got a dining table instead. Um, this chair was actually really easy to put together. Who knew? I thought it would be a whole thing. Love the office, guys. So I'm sure this will become a normal setup in vlogs, but I'm really excited. I don't know what else I want to add to the vlog or add to the office. Let me know what you guys think. Very exciting that I've added stuff here. I added my Alexa, the small one. Okay, she's listening now. Anyways, I'm gonna do some work in here tomorrow and this is where I'm gonna do like my daily reading in the morning and I'm just like so excited So I just need to find ways to make this room cuter. It's super small Which I actually kind of enjoy because my last office was literally like So freaking big and so obnoxiously big. Like, it was just such an awkward room So I like that this is smaller. I also want this to be like super Clean, minimalist, not cluttered in the slightest. I wish that these were hardwood floors, but you know, whatever. You want some, you lose some. The chair will go there, which I'm really excited for. Also, I just put this little Fendi bag right here that I keep all my work stuff in. There's just this like awkward, the way it's shaped because this is like electrical or whatever in this closet, it just like takes so much of the space away. Let's see how he's doing. Oh, wow. Cute. Are you just so excited? So pumped. Also, my R Place pan came in, which I'm so excited for. I actually don't think I was vlogging the day I unboxed these, but they gave me plates. Um, what else was it? Plates, bowls, and cups. But I'm so excited because this pan is supposed to be able to replace like 16 different pans of some sort. I don't know. I've seen it on Instagram and I was really excited because they decided to send me one. But seriously, it's so beautiful. Okay. So it comes with the sponge and it tells, oh, it tells you, this is a little bit different than the other stuff. All right, so here is the pan. Um, I love this. I will have a link below, but it's so cool. The utensil just sits there, which is so helpful. 
And then, yeah, it's meant to replace, I think, 16 different pants. I'm going to use this tonight because I'm making some corn. But, like, this is just so beautiful, everyone. All right, I'm, like, really anxious. So, I'm going to drink this recess. Drink, I think it's a CBD drink. I got them sent in the mail, but I've heard good things, so I'm really excited. All right, everyone, we're gonna do a taste test. Oh, it actually tastes really good. Here are the benefits. It calms the mind, centers the body, helps you focus, improves memory, reduces stress with help from green tea, boosts immunity, and promotes balance. Wow, this actually tastes so good. Update guys, I feel so much better. We have candles burning throughout the house. Quentin just went to go get someone food outside. I got Dolly Parton's book, Dream More, and I'm already halfway done. It's only like 70 pages on the iPad, but it's really good so far. Um, the enchiladas have about 20 minutes left to go, so I probably should not have started on this corn. Quentin's getting mad at me because he's so on time with things, but I love this pan so far, update. Um, we're having enchiladas and corn for dinner, and then I get to pick out what we're watching tonight. So I think we're going to watch a documentary, but the house feels amazing. Nora Jones is playing. I have candles lit everywhere. Okay, my Lululemon Arise mat came. I actually needed to buy one of these anyways because in Dallas, um, you normally have to rent mats when you work out. I'll hop a lot of these I didn't have to pay because I um, was an unlimited member, so maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But anyways, I needed to get a mat anyways because I kept renting. So I normally work out right here, so I think I'm just gonna put it in my closet that will be a pantry for now, but it's really nice. All right, I've been listening to Dolly Parton. The enchiladas are done. The corn is just getting reheated right now. Guys, I cannot stress to you enough how beautiful this pan is. Really beautiful dinner, guys. All right, guys, we are actually making a cheese board because we probably should have had two enchiladas each and we just didn't buy that, so we're really hungry still. <laughs> So we're gonna make this big cheese board and I'm gonna pick out what we're watching on TV. I'm stuck between Reese Witherspoon's new show and then with Carrie Washington, we love her. It's like a starting fire, fire something, little fires. It's a book, I know a lot of people have read it, but that or a documentary, maybe we'll start that because Quentin for some reason does not like my documentaries. I can tell because he never wants to watch them. Why don't you like documentaries? I do. <laughs> All right, we are signing up for HBO so we can watch McMillions, which isn't that on Netflix too? No, it's HBO. Oh, okay, well, never mind. Um, Here's the beautiful cheese board. These are so good. Quentin's touch to all of his cheese board. Um, please, charcuterie. Okay, he is like such a, whatever. Okay, so here's my wine, we'll see. I always, I pour wine glasses and I think I'm really mature and then I end up just not finishing it but I'm committed to finishing it tonight. So here's our cheese board and I need to finish signing up for HBO. We're gonna watch Good morning everyone. Um it is Tuesday. It is the routine Tuesday. that I made for myself today has not gone as planned. But we are really starting that tomorrow and I'm about to go upstairs to my office, bring some coffee, my I don't know why it looks like I have I don't know what that is. It looks like I have like random stuff on my face. Um just filled my hydro flask with water to go to the office. And I'm making coffee right now. I'm gonna read for probably an hour. Then I need to work out. I'm gonna get some work done today. I actually have a call with my financial advisor. It was supposed to be a meeting, but like obviously it's a call. I might have another call today, but they haven't like contacted me, so I'm not really sure. Because I realized that I posted three Instagram photos in a row with this coffee mug. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's really fine. All right guys, almost ready. I wait here every day for two minutes. I think it's actually taught me some patience, guys, me waiting for a whole two minutes. Also, I have kind of been considering, I love how Julia and Hunter um, do like the vlog weeks. So I'm kind of considering doing something like that where I vlog for, I don't know, something along those lines. I'm pretty sure they do seven days, but I might daily vlog for like, five days or something. So if you guys want me to do that, let me know. Um, I may have already made up my mind by the time this vlog goes up, but anyways, I'm gonna go upstairs because one of my vlogs, that's so weird, it's me in the background. One of my vlogs needs to go live. Good morning, everyone. Okay, the updates on what I think I need in this. I don't even know, like, do I wanna be extra and get another coffee maker in here? Probably not. I do want a mini fridge, I think, with all those recess drinks. Um, I don't know, like, I understand I need plants in here. I really am not a plants person, so I will under I, I will get some. 
So that's what I have so far. I'm gonna quickly upload this vlog and then do my morning reading. Yes, I should be reading right now. I understand that, but um, Misguided is having another. So they're always having a sale, guys. But I'm getting. I don't know if this worked yet. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm getting 11 items for a hundred dollars, guys. So this is just a little overview of what I got. I'll show you guys. Obviously, it'll probably arrive next week, but. Just a bunch of loungewear because I actually have no sweats or anything. Like, I really need all new clothes, especially loungewear. I thought I had so much more. It turns out I just don't. Hey okay, guys, I'm about to record my solo episode for this week. I'm really excited. You guys really love my solo episodes. I'm also kind of cold in this office. There's not really much here. It's going to be on, like, self-care, what you can do. Basically, like, a pep talk for the what we're experiencing right now. Um, and ways to help and things like that as far as well as like self-care Things that you can do during this time ways to make your time useful and like make the best of it and all of that stuff So that's what I'm gonna do. Also, I think I have decided that I am gonna do the um, Daily vlog thing. I think I'm gonna do it for like five days in a row. Maybe seven. I think I'm gonna commit to five So we'll see all right So recording that solo episode actually took me a lot longer than I thought it would so I'm actually, I have about an hour and a half until I have a call with my first call with my financial advisor, actually. That will be really fun. But yeah, we're going to, I actually been listening to Claudia and Phineas's new podcast. I really like it. But I'm going to go downstairs and make lunch. And then, oh, I have to bring dishes down. And then I'm going to come back up here, edit for an hour, take the call, edit for like another hour after. Hopefully at that point I'll be like semi done. And then I'm going to work out and then shower and chill for the night and read so we'll see what ends up happening i just made lunch brown rice buffalo chicken uh sweet potatoes broccoli i got my finances in check i paid off all my debt um i learned how to invest i literally went from like not knowing what stuff. okay guys so i'm drinking my recess drink okay i haven't even told you guys what happened so i made lunch and you know how sometimes you're when you're cooking it'll set off the fire alarms well the alarms went off for 53 minutes so obnoxiously loud like so loud they we tried everything finally we got it to be done but like one of my batteries is crazy it was this whole thing anyway so that was awful so i just had my first call with my like quote unquote financial advisor so i'm really excited i'm doing this thing i'm using the financial gym um i'm gonna give you guys as much information on it as possible because i actually think it's so helpful and really great for young people especially with money um okay this is not like sponsored. I just think it will be helpful for you guys, but I think I might have a code. I am kind of working with them, but this is not sponsored. So basically the financial gem, it says we'll help coach you to meet your financial goals. So you get your BFF, which is your best financial friend. So this is like your expert guidance. They cheer you on, coach, help you be accountable. Um, they understand they work for you. Where is the thing that I'm looking for? So basically it's like your financial trainer, essentially like a financial advisor, like more fun and less terrifying and it was just yeah so basically it's like a subscription service so i think it's like 99 dollars a month all this is on here it's a subscription service um i think it's 99 dollars a month they tell you which plan you need and all plans include a one hour goal setting meeting with your trainer marketing or meeting your um meeting to review your financial plan quarterly check-ins ongoing access to your trainer access to our online spending tracking portal um, and then support from our, their full-time CPAs to address any tax or accounting needs. So you get a membership and then you essentially have like a financial advisor. It's really, really awesome. Basically you have like your first call with them, which I think you get like a 20 minute call. That's like a consulting type call to see if it would be a good fit. Um, and those are free obviously. And then they tell you which one you would be and then they give you a follow-up email. So Basically, they break it down for you. You have your discovery, like your quote unquote naked session, which is what I just did. And it's a one hour face to face. Well, I had to do it over the call, obviously, or over the phone right now because, you know, it's crazy. There is one girl who works in Dallas who I'm working with. And then they're in LA, New York, and a few other cities, I think. But basically, this is like the naked session. So you tell them like account balances, everything, your goals, all of that, debt balances, account balances, expenses, everything. And then a week from now, a week from today, I'm gonna have my financial plan meeting. So they come back and they share a comprehensive like financial plan with me. So it's a document that lays out recommendations for how you can reach your goals. So they su the suggestions include savings and spending, so like a budget, ways to tackle debt, increase credit scores, consolidate, refinance, 
basically all of it they give you a plan which is what i need because i'll follow a plan i just can't make one um then you have like check-ins and stuff you have quarterly reviews and so on so yeah i just wanted to share that because i felt like it would be kind of helpful for you guys and really interesting i'm gonna make a video probably um when i go through i don't know if i said my first quarter yeah i think at the end of my first quarter i'm gonna do an entire video on my experience with them, my process, and just kind of taking you guys through. 